So welcome to a Cabana Bay Resort Tour. We're going to do this one a little bit different this time. Yeah. We've got Cody and Seb with us, and we're going to we're going to walk around together, and they are going to give us their opinions on what they think of the hotel. Obviously, I'll be with them. I'm going to show you around certain aspects of the place, but it's going to be good to see from a child's point of view what they actually think of the resort. So as you get to Cabana Bay, this is the main reception and this is where all your cars are, you drop off and you pick up point. And I can show you just over there, that is the bus stop. Them buses will take you straight to City Walk, Universal Studios and Island Adventure. The buses are so frequent, it's every 10 or 15 minutes. So we're just going to walk into the main lobby area and I will show you around um, the main lobby. It's lovely and early and bright in here. This is the main reception. As you can see, it's really busy because it's a Friday today, isn't it, boys? And on a Friday, you tend to get a lot of people checking in. And a lot of people are checking in from places in America. But um, yeah, it's really busy. to check in is Saturday. Yeah, Saturdays are very, very busy, aren't they? But yeah, so this is the main reception area. Let me tell you though, even though it's busy, there's that many staff on the reception, you get through the queue quite quickly. There is also a, a mobile, mobile check-in available here. It's not something we've necessarily used. So I'm going to take you outside now to the pool area, which is just through reception. As you can see, there's automatic doors for uh, people who need them. <laughs> so to go to in, into any of the pools, you do need your room key, which Seb now has scanned and got us through. So there is actually two pools at this hotel. This one being Seb and Cody's favourite. So this is your favourite pool, would you say? Mm, yeah, but the other one it has a lazy river, so... Yeah, so this pool has a slide. And that one's and much deeper. Bigger. And it's much bigger. But that one's deeper. Yeah. It's deeper, but this one's much bigger. And it only has like a 3.9 inches. 3.3 yeah. three foot 9 inches. 3.9 inches. Yeah. But the target point is 4.6 four at drain. Is that what it is? Yeah. So at this resort you get free towels. Yeah, so you get clean towels every day. Uh, and obviously so that's where you put the used ones. ones. And then you use towels for on this one. That's yes. right, yeah. So just behind the pool area, there's actually a, a ping pong table as the boys will demonstrate. Come on, Cody. That's really bad. I, I don't play ping pong. <laughs> I don't po play point to Seb. And here, there's no sand equipment. Yeah, so there's some spades and stuff, and then there's a big area for the kids to, to play in the sand. And secretly, there's only been a ball here. Yeah, there's a beach ball there. So never ever use one of your vouchers when you're doing Yeah, we'll go into that in a little while when we go around the side. So you can hire these cabanas, I'm not sure how much they are, but there's absolutely loads. And one thing you find with this hotel is always loads and loads of sun lounges available. And there's plenty of parasols. I want one of them because it has shade. Yeah. yeah. It's like Seb said one day, next time we come back, if there was a group of us, we'd definitely hire one of them, wouldn't we? Yeah. So this part, this leads up to the slide. And then there's a little kiddie area here. A baby pool. Baby yeah, it's like a baby pool, but... The youngsters pool, that's it. Yeah, it's called the youngsters pool, but I bet if you're a little kid, this is really cool, isn't it? Perfect for Cody. Oh, perfect for Cody. <laughs> so this pool area is next to Castaway and the Thunderbird area. That's and then obviously, house. if you spin all around, you've got Starlight there. So you've got main reception, Starlight, and Thunder. Thunderbird and Castaway. And Castaway. Um, so there's a shaded area here at the beach pavilion and there's also um, a little game of cornhole which the boys will show you how to play now. You get one of this Some evenings on this area as well, they put a massive screen and put films on. But these boys have loved playing with all these games. 
So this is a little jacuzzi. I, I don't really want to show people because there's a lot of people in it. Yeah. A lot of naked people in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's the jacuzzi area. And like I said, this absolute, as Cody said, there's so many clean towel areas, isn't there? It's like three. There's three around this pool. Okay, so this is the atomic tonic bar where you can order drinks and yeah, it does food. It does food. We'll set, we'll show you the menu quickly. This is the menu. Yeah, so obviously this is the drinks menu. Not non-alcoholic. Yeah, and then what I'll show you there, that's the QR code. If anyone wants to pause it and scan that, you'll be able to see the menu in full. This is the Atomic Railway. It's not actually open yet, is it? Yeah, if you've got any refillable cups as well, you can use them here. But yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, we can't really see because it's up close. But once again, there's the QR code. If anyone wants to scan that, you can see the full menu. So these are the life jackets. Yeah. So these life jackets are available uh, just in case anybody needs them, as modelled by Seven Cody, and these all different sizes. Yeah. And there's, there's even some adults ones over on the other stand there. So just in case anyone needs one, they're, they're available and they're all free. Yes, yep. So this is the Swizzle Lounge. This is my favourite bit of to alcohol. Yeah, this is, this is the bar that um, we've come to a couple of times, haven't we, at night? Yeah. And yeah, we've been to this a couple of times. Um, and it's, it's dressed up as Halloween now because of the, you know, the time of the year. Nice little, yeah, nice little photo opportunity. So these are all the drinks available. I'll be honest with you, I've actually tried the mummy and it's really, really nice. Is there any non alcoholic drinks? There is, but not on this one. So, this is vacation planning, and here you can. You can book tickets for any different events, and also. You can also pick up any tickets that you've pre ordered, can't you? Yeah, because we ordered all our Halloween Horror Nights ones here, didn't we? Yeah. And it's uh, honestly, it's just nice and easy uh, process. And right behind us, yeah, this is the gift shop. We're going to do a quick walkthrough now. You ready? Yeah. So this is the Harry Potter area where you can get like little ones and all the like tennis cups and t-shirts and caps and mugs and whatever. Yeah. Like Harry Potter and you've got some. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, with these gift stores, they're all quite generic. They're all very, very similar. Um, you know, if you go into the parks, you'll find most of the merchandise is the same. The only difference here is they have got some Cabana Bay merchandise, you know, like some t-shirts, some mugs and some lanyards and things like that. But everything else is quite generic. But it's a great gift store, it's got everything you need. I actually picked up my Halloween Horror Nights hoodie from here. You know, but yeah, it's good. The other thing they have here is quite a lot of stuff for around the pool, like bikinis and things like that. And we actually picked up for Seb some water shoes which I'll show you are uh, just here. So we picked some of them water shoes up for you didn't we said because you'd hurt yeah. your foot and they're really good at are they? Yeah, I have water shoes. Yeah really we should we should have brought them with us but we did forget. My mum always talks about these and I said you're not a McDonald's wear it. Yeah mummy wanted one then but Chris said you can't have that because you don't work at McDonald's. I have a So this is the Starbucks um, cafe really busy today so, you can get any different kind of drinks but my favorite is either the vanilla bean frappuccino with mold cream or the strawberry strawberry akai yeah, strawberry akai the yeah they're so good aren't they yeah. so refreshing aren't they and up just upstairs is a bowling alley we'll get to that in a minute this guy's way ahead of us <laughs> So this is Cody's favourite bit, isn't it? The diner. So it's called the Bayliner Diner. Um, and you must, you must cover up yourself so no swimwear in here. But we'll show you around now quickly. And then I'm going to ask the boys what their favourite is. So you've got your grab and go area. Yeah, yeah, so. So you can get your resort mugs. Um, this is the price here. And as Cody said, you can actually get ices in the cups, can't you? Yeah, but you can also 
but yeah. also just to get this because it's pretty much infinite. Yeah, so for this for your length of stay, eighteen ninety nine, well worth it. That's plus tax. It, yeah, which is probably around twenty dollars. Yeah. So this is Seb's favourite part, the grill. I like chips. He always gets the chips from there and you've had the chips. But you've had the chicken tenders and they were really oh, nice, weren't they? Lovely. They're lovely. Yeah, I've they tried, really are. I've tried the Adams, it's so massive that I've got. What else have you tried? I've tried I think you can use all meat chicken. And then you would normally eat like So the ne the next one is um, International Eats. And I know Christie's had the steak from here, which is really good. And then my personal favourite is the pizzas. Um, the pepper about this pizza section is the cheese pizzas because yeah. you get you can get kids or adults it's just lovely. yeah and in the morning you can get waffles from here pancakes from here yeah. From here. yeah but yeah for me it's definitely the pepperoni pizza I say it's been fine yeah we don't know what the ice is for do we call it yeah it's just ice <laughs> We've also eaten here, me and Christy, at the deli. They do a sandwich, um, which is actually not on the menu at the moment because it's breakfast only. Um, they do a turkey and provolone sandwich, which is absolutely lovely. And that's the frozen yogurt bar. You you have that all the time. Yeah, literally ice cream. Yeah, it tastes just like ice cream. This is where you can just get all your pastries and yeah. And and all that. But we we still suggest get the cup so you can get anything you want from all the machines. Yeah, we'll show you the machines these, in a minute. These milks are yeah, so they sell milk and everything here. And like I said, all these pastries. As you can see, this is a tour through the eyes of uh, an eleven-year-old and a nine-year-old. We can't. Oh yeah. I think people are going to be so excited when they get here. So it's like a menu that you can get from you can get bagels, muffins, croissants, breakfast, pasta, pastries and bread for toast. So this is the actual seating area for the diner. Like a lounge. Yeah, it's like a lounge. It's absolutely vast. It's so big, isn't it? It's got like big screen Yeah. Yeah, so as Cody's saying there, you've got all these big screens and you've got the Repilo and Mug machines there. Yeah, honestly, if you come here in an evening, you'll never struggle to sit down because there's so much room. There really is. Yeah, everyone's getting breakfast now. It's 10 30, so a lot of people have been out till late and they're now getting up and getting breakfast out there. So just next to the Starbucks is a stairway upwards, which we're going to go up now. And we will show you what's upstairs, boys. Uh, Bowling, uh, the gym and arcade, and, the arcade and, uh, and there's a little like scare. Like, yeah, so. It's not really a scare, it's like pictures. Yeah, it's pictures, but we'll show you that when we get upstairs. So we're just stood on the balcony, just up from reception. We spin you around here. This is where the gym area is. So as you can see, these treadmills, it's a full equipped gym. But uh, obviously, I don't want to disturb people, so we'll. Uh, we'll it's very, very quiet, so we'll get we'll leave here quickly. Let's go, guys! Come on. Just next to the gym, we've got Galaxy Ball. Have any of you guys ever done Galaxy Ball? I've done it uh, with Andy Lara, was it? Once? Yeah, so no, Seb's, Andy. yeah, so Seb's done it in 2019. Have you ever done it? I've never done it before, but I want to do it. Yeah, it looks really good. I personally have never done it, but um, Seb's done it and he said no, it's amazing. Did it with me once. I never did it. That was you and Auntie Laura, and you've done it with Auntie it's Beth. So yeah, it looks big. And also in there, there's a bar area. So if you did want to do some bowling and get a drink, you can do. So Seven Cody's favourite place is the Gamerama. And Cody's going to show you now. He's already got a card. So these are what the play cards look like. It says play card. And it says Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort on the card. Yeah, and then what you do with them is there's a machine in there, which I'll show you in a minute. You actually swipe your card. Yeah, you, you put. And yeah. Then you can yeah, and then you put money on the card, and then you can play the games. But you have to swipe it where the black line is. That's right, yeah. So should we show them the machine inside? So this is where you just swipe uh, and play. And Cody's now going to have a quick go on doodle jump. Oh. 
<laughs> These two, they just can't get enough of the games. So this is where you load your card up and Seb's going to show you now. So you swipe your card and then it asks you how many um, tokens you want. You put $20 on and then all you do is you just insert your money there. So I'll just quickly show you around in here. There's absolutely loads of arcades. But the boys want to show you what their favourite game is, and they're going to have a quick go of it now, aren't you? Yeah, their favourite game is the basketball. I think this is the new top score for these guys. Is that your top score? Top, yeah, top score. 118 it was. Whoa, well done boys. Yeah. Right, let's carry on. As you can see, they're always, always uh, updating things and keeping everything nice and, nice and fresh here. There's been a bit of painting going on this morning. So there's actually a photo opportunity here at Cabana Bay, which is in Fun in the Sun Rec Centre. It starts at two o'clock and ends at 10 o'clock. It does, yeah. And have you been into it yet, Cody? Yeah, I've been into it. Same with us. Around that corner, there's a cool picture like this, but it's way bigger. Yeah, just around the corner. But if you guys are interested, you can just go in. You just need to be. Just get a picture. You need to be a resident of either Cabana Bay or one of the Universal hotels, don't you? Yeah. What I'll probably do is, if Christy took some pictures, I'll get her to insert them right about here. Just for reference, this is the balcony over the restaurant, dining area, and that's where the photo opportunity is. So we're gonna go down the ramp now and we're gonna go to the other pool. This is the pool with the Volcano Bay view. As advised, you must have your key cards to enter. And just in case anyone's interested, the pool hours are 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. Let me in. <laughs> So from the diner, you can just come out here and there's actually some fire pits. And you, if you go to the Bay Line Diner, you can get the marshmallows to make s'mores. Yeah. We've never done this yet, but I think it's something that a lot of people would like to do. Have you done it yet, Cody? The, like, the only point like, I've been down here before is going down to that pool. Yeah, so Cody's never been up here, but we're going to head that way down to the pool and we'll show you the other pool. This pool is the one with the lazy river, isn't it? Yeah, and it's very fun. And the people, me and Seb have been in it before. Yeah, it's real fun. There's actually a second fire pit just uh, on the way down to the actual uh, second pool. So the second pool area is surrounded by the Americana and the Continental. Oh, I've never saw that one. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you over here. This is the hideaway bar and grill where you get all your drinks and your food. I've ate from here now twice and the food is very, very, very good. So on this side we have more towels as well. This pool is a lot smaller, but it's deeper, but now this is the fun part. So we're going to take you to the fun part, aren't we? So this is the deepest part of the pool, 1.5 metres. So this is the fun part. There's a lazy river which is open 9am till 10pm. Yeah, and it's only three feet deep. But the boys have had so much fun in here, haven't you boys? Played yeah, they played Tig in here once and they've had a lot of fun. Since that pool's warm over there, we're getting a bit warm up in this. Yeah, cool. yeah it's nice and cool. Uh, this is where you can buy all your types of tunes. Yeah, and they do beach balls as well, don't they? Which you, you don't necessarily need to go in the lazy river, do you, Cody? Not necessarily. You can just go in, can't you, and just, yeah, just chill. Just like if you yeah. need uh, life jackets, there's some over there. Yeah, there's some life jackets. So just from this side of the pool, if we spin round over here and walk this way, just to the right hand side of the bar and grill, yeah, it's a hot tub. there's a big hot tub. Personally, I've not been in this one yet. Look at how big it is. Yeah, it's a massive one. It's a lot bigger than the other one. Seb, Cody, have you guys been in this hot tub? Yeah, I have. Seb's been in it, haven't you? But yeah, you can see it's a nice big hot tub. Warm. It's really warm, isn't it? So this is the other menu for the other bar. Yeah, there's plenty of drinks on there. And if you spin Wind. it round, 
There's more drinks on the back side. It's very big. Yeah, it's a big menu. Obviously, there's also a place to eat, but the menus aren't available. But it just does your basic stuff like your chicken tenders and your burgers. And like I said, we've ate there and it's good, isn't it, boys? But when you're getting an alcoholic drink, it's a one alcoholic drink per ID. And that is very important because I've tried to buy three drinks by myself and I've had to bring the other people up to the bar because they will only serve you one drink per ID. So I hope everyone enjoyed that, that hotel tour. Yes. Big thanks to Seven Cody for showing everybody around. But just before we finish, I just want to ask you one question. What is your favourite part, Cody? You go first about this hotel. Well, the first thing, I have two things. Tell me. The aircon and well, the pools. And the pools, great. I, I, I've got and what's your, what's your favourite thing, Seb? My, I've got three. Arcade, pool and bowling. I tell you. No, and the grill. Arcade. Uh, well, there's a lot of favourite things, but let me tell you something. If anybody thinks about coming here, I would highly recommend it. Yes. It's a great hotel. You guys love it, don't you? Yeah. You're going to have a blast when you come here. Yeah, definitely. So on that, I'm going to sign out this this hotel tour. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to pass the camera over to Cody. This is called Cody Cam now. So Cody now is going to, just before we finish this vlog, He's going to record something funny. Go on, Seb. This is what I call the bye, guys. Peace. <laughs> so don't forget this week to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our awesome videos are out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.